Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about U.S. presidents in Germany and what that can teach us about China and their leader. Because something has occurred and it has led to, let's just say, elevated heart rates. And I think a little bit of context might help here. So uh, I'm going to read a, a little bit of a speech first. We go forward within the framework of our unalterable commitment to the defense of Europe and to the reunification of Germany. But under the leadership of President Truman and President Eisenhower and our late beloved President Kennedy, America and Western Europe have achieved the strength and self-confidence to follow a course based on hope rather than hostility based on opportunity rather than fear, and it is also our belief that wise and skillful development of relationships with the nations of Eastern Europe can speed the day when Germany will be reunited. Okay. All the presidents mentioned, they, have all, they all spoke in the same way. Okay. Basically, that the reunification of Germany was a historical inevitability. It was going to happen. Can speed the day when Germany will be reunited. It's not a question of if it's going to occur, but that it will. It's a matter of time, kind of on a long enough timeline, we win kind of thing. It's a way of speaking that uh, inspires people. That's what it is. It's worth noting that Kennedy kind of did the same thing in his famous speech in Berlin, um, talking about people being reunited. Um, not quite as direct, but it's there, and that was in 1963. This speech is Lyndon B. Johnson, May 23rd, 1964. And it is worth remembering that Germany was reunified in 1990. A little bit of time passed, right? Okay, so what has uh, people's anxiety up? The Chinese leader gave a speech, and the official translation of what was said was, China will surely be reunified. Of course, talking about Taiwan. The literal translation, the reunification of the motherland is a historical inevitability. This is just this is just good speaking. This isn't a threat of war. <laughs> um, this is just the Chinese leader saying, on a long enough timeline, this is going to occur. There's not a threat here. I understand that it is good for engagement to constantly, you know, doomcast. But that's not what's here. <laughs> that is, that's not what's in this statement here. This is just the leader of China saying that this is going to occur on a long enough timeline. That's it. Uh, world leaders do it all the time. Uh, I am certain that sometime in the last couple of years, the leader of Cuba has said it. it it's something that occurs. It is not a threat of war. We are, again, we're, we're in a near-peer contest with China. It's pretty low-key as, you know, semi-Cold Wars go. But it's important to remember that there's going to be a lot of political positioning when it comes to foreign policy, and that neither party actually wants to go to war with each other. Um... This is not something to be concerned about. That This is not a speech that indicates anything is imminent. It's just stating a well-known and long-held goal of China and stating it as we're going to win no matter what. That's it. It's just good public speaking. It's not, it's not a threat of war. Um, so... Anyway, it's just a thought. 
Y'all have a good day.